Hello everybody, I'm the English teacher and my name is Arturo. Today I'm here to explain the present simple passive. We're going to talk about the difference between an active to passive, its structure and how to change from active to passive. Let's start. We're going to start with the difference. The difference between active and passive is that in the active the subject makes the action and in the passive the subject receives the action. For example, an active sentence, the cat killed the mice, the cat made the action and the passive sentence is the mice are killed by the cat. The mice the mice received the action. Now it's challenge time. You have to identify the passive sentence. I'll give you ten seconds. Some boy helped injure or the injure are helped by some boys. Which of one is the passive sentence? Well, it's very clear. The first is the active sentence and the second is the passive sentence. But I don't know what the structure of the passive sentence is. Hello, my name is Marina and I'm also an English teacher. The structure in a affirmative sentence is the subject plus the verb to be and is are plus the verb in past participle of the main verb and plus the by and plus subject that they are the aliens. For example, the letter is written by Ali. In a negative sentence, we only add not. Like, I'm not, is not, are not, for example. The letter is not written by Ali. In a question, we start with the verb to be and um, is are plus the subject plus the verb in past participle plus by plus objects, for example, is the letter written by Ali? But what is the past participle? I can't remember now. I know it, I know it. Sorry, but first I will introduce myself. My name is Iker and I and like all my classmates. Today I am an English teacher. We can find the past participle in the third column of the list when it's irregular. When it's regular, we add ed to the verb. It's very easy. For example, regular verbs that we form adding ed. Play, play it. Cry, cry. Watch out, the spelling is important. How can we change a sentence from active to passive? Oh, yeah. do you need me? Yes. Can you tell us how to change from active to passive? Yes, it's very easy. There are five steps. Uh, first, uh, we identify the subject and the object. Second, the object is the new subject. First, we add the verb to be in present and is are. Fourth, we write the, the past participle of the main verb. And finally, we add by plus subject is the agent. Look at these two sentences. One is the active and change into a passive. Now it is the challenge time. Uh, let's turn it into passive. I've given you 10 seconds. If you thought uh, that the passive sentence while the book are read by the children, you are right. But if not, you should uh, study a little bit more. And for today is enough. We have learned a lot of things. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.